What's up guys, it's Mike with Alpha Reptile back with another video today and today we are making a gift guide for you reptile and amphibian lovers, you herpers here on YouTube, or your family members that are very confused what to get their son who is obsessed with reptiles. Welcome to those of you as well. I'd like to start off the video by saying if you have never seen my channel or you just like reptiles and learning things about the natural world, make sure you click subscribe on my channel as well as follow me on Instagram. Link somewhere on the screen right here for you guys to go check out. Without further ado, let's get this party started. Now, first things first is merch. Uh, this is my personal merch. This is one of the top things that I think you can buy either your kid, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, whoever you're buying gifts for. Uh, but this is kind of a self-promotion. Obviously, I make my own merch. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones, the leaf tail ones. There's a couple more. I'll throw them on screen for you guys to check out as I'm talking about it. Honestly, as much of a self-promotion as it is, link in the description. I, I genuinely think it's a really great gift for anyone. If the person you're looking for is a YouTuber, uh, watches a lot of YouTube, whatever it is, I'm sure they have their favorite YouTube channels and I really do think whoever they are would really enjoy merch. Obviously, feel free to support me. It, it helps me out, you know, helps support me in my next endeavors. There's a lot of other people here on YouTube that make merch. I mean, if you have a favorite YouTuber and you're interested in what they do, then make sure to check their description and see if there's a link for merch because chances are they do make it. Okay, enough of <laughs> the self-promotion. I had to get that out of the way first. The second one I'm going to go on about is the importance importance of knowledge. So you can see here I have three of the Arcadia Reptile books. Uh, these are authored, researched, and everything by John Courtney Smith. He is a great friend. He is one of the pioneers in the reptile community. He's doing a lot of incredible work with the reptile hobby and advancing it. So if you want to support that and you're looking to learn some things for yourself, for whoever you're shopping for, Books are definitely one of the most important things. This is John Courtney Smith's newest book, Fire. Uh, it basically goes through all the different aspects of the sun, the importance of proper heating, the difference between UV, infrared, UVC, UVB, UVA, lumens, Kelvin, everything. It is a very, very cool book. And that's just in case John's watching this. I did get a signed copy, so woo! If you guys are interested in John Courtney Smith's book, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out. And in fact, I'll leave a link for everything I mentioned down below. Some of it will be from reptilesrs.ca. Make sure you go check them out. Some of it will just be from Amazon. It is important to mention that the links from Amazon are affiliate links. So if you buy anything, you do support me in a very small way as well. So thank you very much. Go check everything out. Another really good book that I read the crap out of was Bioactivity and the Theory of Wild Recreation. It's an awesome book. These books are very readable. These books are not super wordy. Uh, they are pretty large text, so there's nothing to really worry about. Even if you are younger or you're worried about your kid reading it, there is some scientific terms, but they are typically well defined. So there's nothing to worry when it comes to the difficulty of understanding the language that is used in the books. For the next item is very fine tongs. So these are a herper's best friend. Especially if you tong feed like I do and a lot of my friends, everybody always loves tongs and there is never enough of them. I know me specifically, I know my girlfriend, we always put things down, we lose them, we find them again three months later in a shoe box in the basement. We <laughs> There are some other ones like Zoomed makes some that are pretty good actually. I really enjoy these bent ones. Uh, I never thought I'd be a makeup guru but here we are. Um, these ones are really nice as well. Uh, there are some lower quality ones. Uh, you can look for the ADA ones. These are really expensive, but they're worth their weight in gold. There's some by Fluval that you can buy. There's a bunch on Amazon that I'll link down below as well. It's definitely something that not every single person would think about when they're buying gifts, but it's something that especially if, say, my girlfriend or my parents bought me some tweezers like this, I would be probably happier than I should be, to be honest. If you've made it this far throughout the video, would you be able to let me know in the comments and also by leaving a like if this video has helped you out with any gift ideas or maybe thoughts you haven't considered yet. That would be awesome. I look forward to seeing your comments down below. Now staying along that kind of functionality vein, uh, I recommend a multi-tool. Now 
This is one that I use for work. This is called the Gerber Dime. This thing is tiny. It's very useful. You can attach it to a keychain. There's pliers, there's knives, there's scissors, there's screwdrivers. There's everything that you need in this little thing. Now, if you have one animal, chances are you don't need one of these. If you have multiple animals, you're working on new tanks all the time, you're constantly doing stuff, a multi-tool is very useful and I was shocked when I bought one. I was like, you know what, it's on Amazon, I'll buy it, it's fine. I got it and I was like, man, I don't need this. And then I would have it in my pocket and I'd need it more and more. Cut open boxes, works like a charm. So that's just one example. I'll leave a few examples in the description down below for you guys to check out. This can go anywhere from like $30, anywhere to like two or $300 for a really, really nice Leatherman multi-tool. For those of you that have a little bit deeper pockets or, or you know, just want to uh, spread the love, <laughs> um, I would also recommend a UV meter uh, they're very expensive. They're like three four hundred bucks, but they are so valuable I actually don't have one yet. That is going to be one of my newer purchases in this coming new year And I just borrow one from a friend when I need it. They are so valuable They are very expensive Like I said the one that you're going to be looking for I'll have on screen here for you guys But it is the UV eyes. It's actually measuring the UV index the reptile hobby has kind of standardized as using the UV eye um, For different species. It'll be like a two UV eye or a three or like a six, that kind of deal. And now along the same vein as measuring things, this is something that more people need. If your significant other, whoever you're buying a gift for, does not have one of these, make sure you get them one. Pew pew! This is a temperature gun. This thing is so useful those crappy cheap thermometers that you buy at pet stores, actually they're not even cheap here in Canada. It's like 20 bucks for the little Exoterra digital thermometer. Garbage. Throw it out the window, buy one of these. These guys, I don't know exactly what I bought this one for, but I'm sure you can find them as cheap as like 10 or $15. And then I'm sure you can buy them all the way up to like $100, $120 if you really want to invest in a good one. Um, but even this one gets the job done. Obviously when you're reading things, you want to take multiple temperatures of the same or similar area just to ensure that you're getting a similar result. But like I said, these will beat out thermometers any day of the week. I always recommend these to any customers. I recommend them to everyone. So if you guys don't have one, make sure you pick one up. If you're shopping for somebody, make sure you pick one up. And the next order of business is this gecko diet. This is Pangea specifically. Uh, if you don't have Pangea, I strongly recommend you pick some up. They're not a sponsor. Definitely not a sponsor. I wish they were. Pangea, if you see this, please. If you guys don't have Pangea, I find that my animals eat it way more readily than Rapashi products. I'll just go ahead and say it, Rapashi products. Um, the specialty Rapashi products are kind of interesting, but they're not a main diet. If you're looking for a main diet, Pangea all the way. I'm definitely not being paid to say this. Uh, I, I would love to be, but <laughs> I'm not. Pangea products are awesome. You can find them if you're in Canada at reptilesrs.ca, like I mentioned. I'll leave links and stuff in the description, as I said before. Um, but they have a bunch of different flavors. Like I have the with insects. This is the 16 ounce. Um, this one I still have yet to open and I need to do that because eventually it'll go bad. If your significant other has a lychee, a crusty, a chihuahua, day geckos. Um, I feed it to my morning geckos as you guys saw in the last feeding video. Which if you haven't seen that, make sure to click up here. It'll pop up and you guys can go watch it. I don't really have a whole lot else to say about them. But if, if you're shopping for somebody who has them, make sure you go ahead and ask them what they have and once they tell you now you know this is more of like a stocking stuffer item if you're a parent or something like that but calendars believe it or not calendars are a very very useful thing I like to write my feeding schedules and stuff on them uh, obviously dates things like that whatever I'm doing whatever important is happening I really need to know about they go in here obviously we all have one of these on our smartphones or on our iPads or whatever you have but I always find, especially being from a slightly older generation, I'm 23 years old, I can't believe I'm saying that. If they're from an older generation, then chances are they still like to write stuff down, and this is what I'd recommend getting for them. I actually picked out my calendar for next year, it's going to be the frogs one, so 
pretty stoked about that. There's a bunch to choose from, and uh, I'd recommend a calendar for you guys. Now, these are just a couple honorable mentions to throw in the end of the video. A thermostat, always useful. Pretty much no matter what animal will benefit from a thermostat. The Arcadia deep heat projector, I will be making a video about it in depth and kind of showing you guys the science and things behind it. So if you're interested in that, make sure you leave a like down below. That's all I got for the kind of honorable mentions. However, I did want to mention at the end of this video, and I think I might make it uh, a video in and itself, but things not to buy. Real quick, animals. Do not buy any animals. Doesn't matter if they have any sort of tank set up, if they've researched animals, do not buy any animals. Instead, and this goes for kind of the more nitpicky items, driftwood, that kind of deal, decorations, buy the gift receiver a gift card. Inquire to the pet shop, say, hey, how much is this going to cost if you just want to pay for the animal, if you want to pay for the whole setup, that's totally up to you. But inquire, they'll be able to give you either an exact amount if they go through and actually take the cost of everything down, or they'll be able to give you a ballpark. Oh yeah, you know what, a leopard gecko, you can get that set up for like 200 bucks. The animals maybe 80 bucks. All right, so maybe get a gift card for $300 and you should be set. A responsible pet shop owner, uh, I guess pet shop worker, anything like that, will respond with. I know me personally, working in a pet store, if somebody comes in, they say, oh, I'm getting so-and-so a, a gift. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. What, what kind of gift are you looking for? Oh, you know what? That's easy. I want a bearded dragon for her. I will refuse straight up to sell them a bearded dragon. I'll sell them the gift card, that kind of deal, but I will straight up refuse to sell them an animal. I don't think it's right. Even the setup is not a uh, kind of given because the simple fact of the matter is, whoever you're buying it for might not be able to support it long term, might not be able to pay for vet bills, might not be able to uh, have it for the rest of their life. Maybe your son or child or whoever is going to college in a couple years and can't bring it with them. What's going to happen then? There's so many factors to take in mind. Uh, I just don't think it's up to a third party to buy somebody an animal. All right, and that does it. I hope you guys enjoyed my gift guide for 2019. Maybe I could make this a whole thing next year. Uh, I really hope to include some more kind of uh, boutique shops and things like that in the next one. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comment section. If you have any questions for me, if you have video suggestions, always leave them down there. I will get back to you. I reply to pretty much every comment. I'm pretty good with that. If you would like to see more about my reptiles, more about my amphibians, more about nature, please click that subscribe button. And while you're down there, play Ding Dong Ditch with the doorbell next to it. That way you get notified every single time I post a video. I hope you guys are having a great December and Christmas is coming. And so is the reptile room tour. Later guys.